Hello, how are you doing team? Nokia Pauza here and we welcome you all to a very very interesting video. This video was again much awaited and many of you uh, like us to do the performance test of Nokia 7 Plus. Nokia 7 Plus comes with the latest Snapdragon 660 processor and uh, it uh, combines it with 4GB RAM. <clears throat> we have usually seen how good, how well actually Nokia 8 runs with 4GB RAM. So here uh, with a powerful processor like Snapdragon 660 that can be called as one of the like uh, most powerful processors in mid-range uh, and combining with the 4GB RAM and pure Android should obviously uh, make some good some something good or like make lots of good for Nokia 7 Plus uh, when it comes to performance. So uh, we will do the test and as we always do it's a real life test. So here we will first run some daily tasks, we will open apps, see how everything works like and then obviously we will move to browsing and gaming and as you can uh, notice here we have some heavy games heavy hitters here like uh, GTA San Andreas Mortal Kombat <clears throat> then uh, we'll do Injustice and maybe we can try with any other game combined so it's a mid-ranger but even with a, like a, for a mid-ranger with pure Android 4GB RAM and Snapdragon 660 processor it's time to push it to its limits we will try to do that We'll try to do some heavy lifting with it. Let's uh, see how it works like. So if you talk about general, you know, general multitasking or general daily task, uh, it never disappoints you. Whatever you do, uh, it, you will feel that it's really efficient, very, very fast, etc. Okay, so having said that, uh, while we never face any issue with that, so I mean the good part is that it's homogeneous or like the performance part or good performance goodness is across the UI wherever you go whatever you do you will feel I mean similar smoothness and that that is hallmark of a you know a polished OS because if you don't have a polished OS so you, you face many issues uh, I mean, if you don't face issue in one part you will face issues in another part so here you don't see that you see everything runs quite well very smoothly let's uh, check the camera how the camera is how fast it is so camera is very fast shot to shot is very very fast now let's send the camera to the background so we have so far seen that uh, the, I mean in the daily navigation it never uh, faces any issue it is quite fast then we went to the settings and checked now uh, let's go to the background the multitasking part and let's see so there are like three apps open here in the background we will do the browsing next so let's see how how good the browsing is and as you can notice it very very fast zooming in zooming out etc the scrolling everything is fast so why not open more tabs so we will open more tabs that is something obviously we can do we will open at least 10 tabs because uh, one at least I mean opens five to six tabs usually we do so 10 tabs are like good So we have now 9 tabs open, let's open one more and we should be happy with 10 tabs open in the background now or like open in the browser now and as we have seen the scrolling etc all is very very fast, quite efficient, scrolls really really fast, zoom in, zooming in, zooming out etc.
so it's quite good now let's send you to the uh, background now time for the gaming so one of the heaviest games on android the gta san andreas let's see how uh, it actually plays on uh, this device Okay. <laughs> so, uh, with San Andrea, the funny thing is that it's uh, too realistic. So, if you do anything, it's very, very difficult to take it back. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, let me try to get it on track, back on track. You, and here we go. Let's kick some of them again. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh, we saved people. Okay. <laughs> so uh, GTA San Andreas so far plays well, very very well so let's get out of the car before it uh, blasts off so okay so we can get a we can get a car maybe again or something else It does not look like. interesting game san andreas let's send you to the background and let's try to uh, resume it from the background and it happens uh, very well so it's quite good okay we will open more games so that uh, we can do a you know like a heavy uh, game testing kind of thing so that we can understand how where are the limitations of uh, nokia 7 plus As I said, these all games are very, very heavy. Even Mortal Kombat is one of the heaviest games on Android. So, uh, I mean, playing two, three games, that gives you an idea about how much load the device can take easily and whether it remains uh, good while doing multitasking with all these games open in the background. So well, that is a real test.
so now it's time to send it to the background now let us quickly check uh, whether multitasking still works uh, fine or not so let's try to resume it and it uh, resumes very well so that is great two heavy games and uh, both are resuming quite well so it also Mortal Kombat resumed well from the background and just to tell you that in the background we already have uh, our camera open then we have the browser and the browser is there with the 10 tabs and I think everything is working so far so good now let's open one more game um, we can go for sniper 3d maybe one of the very interesting games And we did well it seems so uh, we will uh, send you to the background we just check once again the same thing we will check whether it can handle everything from the background and I mean it, it as you can see the GTA San Andreas it resumes quite well that is great uh, the another game let's check Mortal Kombat it resumed well too and then there is sniper 3d wow so all three games uh, were able to resume well from the background that's really really good that looks like that uh, this is uh, one bit of powerhouse mid-ranger the processor seems to be really really good and uh, with 4gb ram it is able to multitask with two very heavy games and one moderately heavy game and this is another heavy game that we have here asphalt airborne let's go and as we said let's again play a bit and then we can think about the multitasking which is obviously the real test that tells us that okay this device is able to handle this much uh, abuse or like this much you this much load so let's start the race okay let's send it to the background okay so with four three heavy games how does it handle everything that will be the real test and 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 we see that it resumes quite well let's check the mortal combat it also resumed quite well from the background sniper 3d it resumed well and then the game that we just sent to the background asphalted so with four games in the background <laughs> Nokia 7 plus handles everything with ease all the gameplay is so good so smooth and you really enjoy playing games on this 
a big screen which is 18 uh, is to 9 though the ratio uh, usually does not make much difference but actually this uh, you know like display to uh, the whole screen ratio that makes a bit of difference when you actually use the device and it's really really enjoyable to play games etc and not only games we saw how how efficient the multi powerful the multitasking is how uh, well you can actually browse with 10 tabs even with so much load open in the background and the best part is that even with everything open in the background now you go and you do anything that you like and i don't think it disappoints even a little bit there are no crashes no feeling no lag anywhere so it's amazing it's a bit of like it's itself a powerhouse so we, till now we were talking about nokia 8 and nokia Sirocco, both very 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 powerful devices because those can handle like four games three games heavy all four heaviest games uh, in the background and it does the same it actually matches them so we will do a comparison later but for now we can tell you that nokia 7 plus is itself a powerhouse device uh, its multitasking is really efficient when with heavy load in the background so three heavy games one moderately heavy game uh, browser 10 tabs and other apps and games open in the background it's so fast without any lag so it's great actually so hope you have liked the video hope you have liked the evolution of nokia 7 plus stay tuned for more on nokia 7 plus uh, nokia powers youtube channel and nokia thanks for watching